Alrighty guys, today I just wanted to cover off briefly on what really is important for our body composition and performance goals. So this is an uh, awesome little infographic we've borrowed from the RP Strength guys and it gives a pretty, um, pretty accurate description of what matters most from probably most important down here to least important at the top. None of those over here on the right count for much at all if we don't have consistency and adherence across the board over the longer term. So first up, we've got the calories and that's gonna change depending upon your goals. Obviously, we're gonna eat a little less, be in that calorie deficit for fat loss and potentially be in a slight surplus for muscle gain or performance goals. Our macros is gonna be our breakdown of our protein, carbs and fat in that order, prioritizing our protein, using our carbs to fuel our workouts and then getting enough fats in for our hormone function, etc. After that, we've got our timing, which is gonna probably get a little bit more uh, important as we get into that calorie deficit or our performance goals become a priority. And what we're looking for there is making sure that we're fueling our workouts, trying to stay nice and full at those times of hunger for you. After that, we've got our composition and we wanna look here to stay, sorry, with mostly whole unprocessed foods around that 80 to 90% of the time. Sure, we can enjoy ourselves every now and then, but we need to be honest with ourselves there, looking for quality and nutritious foods. And then finally, guys, what matters the least, still a little component of it is supplements. And then we've got hydration there as well, obviously consuming enough water. Um, being conscious of that, supplements matter very little. There's a couple of important ones that we can cover off at another time, but if you don't have the rest nailed, they're gonna count for nothing.